is reached. I think this horrible act was caused because of the so-called peace process. The peace process was really a charade in our opinion. It took years to get the PLO and the Israelis together. On Capitol Hill, there's a feeling peace will prevail over terrorism. We absolutely cannot permit the actions of one deranged man, obviously a madman, to uh, thwart the, the peace process. So the talks are scheduled to go forward. But the real question here at the White House is, will the violence in the occupied territory stop long enough so negotiations can continue without the painful distractions? At the White House, Jim Gately, Channel 9 News. A police officer is in stable condition tonight after he was shot on patrol. Officer Paul Parlato stopped his scooter in front of the Refern housing project. He heard a loud noise and then felt a pain. He was shot in the upper right arm. Police are not sure if Parlato was hit by a stray bullet or if the bullet was meant for him. Tonight, Garrett Morris is improving after surgery for two gunshot wounds. He's listed in serious but stable condition with a bullet in his back. The one-time Saturday Night Live sensation was shot yesterday afternoon after two gunmen tried to rob him. Doctors say the bullet poses no immediate danger to Morris right now, but it may have to be removed soon. A warning tonight for residents of Manhattan public housing developments. A rapist is on the loose. Police have released a composite sketch of the suspect. He has struck four times at housing developments in Manhattan. The latest attack happened yesterday. The victim's ages range from 8 to 17. The others uh, either followed them into the uh, elevator. Uh, when the elevator stopped at a particular floor, uh, if there was somebody else on the elevator, the person would get off. Then when he was alone with the victim in the elevator, he would grab them, simulate that he uh, had a knife, and then take him up to the roof landing where he would sexually attack them. All the attacks happen in the afternoon. Police are warning residents to be extra cautious. A man is lucky to be alive tonight after he jumped from the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. Peter Hermanson is in stable condition. He jumped from the bridge and landed in some shallow water. Police were chasing him after he went through a toll booth without paying. Officers used a raft to get him to safety. Doctors have not yet unlocked the secrets of the mystery fumes. Pathologists performing an autopsy found nothing unusual in a California woman's body. After its ammonia-like smell knocked out an emergency room medical team Saturday night, but they took no chances in trying to find out. They came prepared with airtight suits and oxygen tanks. What caused the mystery fumes? Possibly a toxic agent found in pesticides. Most cases of sexual harassment involve a male boss victimizing a female employee. But tonight in Florida, a new twist. Three female office workers at a Tampa computer sales company say they were sexually harassed by their lesbian boss. The women say they told the firm of their complaints, but management did nothing. My neck so close. Her nose was on my neck. She sang songs into my ear. Her, her breath was hot on my ear. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission is now investigating. Tonight, parts of Sarajevo seem to be getting back to normal for the first time in a long time. That story tops World Watch. Bosnia, an outdoor market in Sarajevo, reopens three weeks after a mortar shell hit it, killing 68 people. This weekend, the Clinton administration hosts peace talks between Muslims and Croats. Philippines, thousands gathered to mark the anniversary of the nation's people power revolt. The 1986 movement drove President Ferdinand Marcos from power. Japan, the traditional naked festival is underway. Participants carry infants, anoint them with mud, and then it's a free-for-all. The ceremony is a form of prayer for a good rice festival and good health. Spain, they are the monks. Not the monkeys, but they put together an album of Gregorian chants. The album is a hit. It sold nearly 300,000 copies. But success has shattered their solitude, so any prayer of a follow-up album will have to wait. Coming up on Channel 9 News...